welcome to another Green Marble Crochet Tutorial. For this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make just a very, very basic, very simple summer dress. Which is actually a tutorial that I made last year, but I accidentally deleted the first half, so... <laughs> I did a poll and everybody said they would prefer to see that than a mask tutorial, which I have already made, but I want to give you guys what you want to have, so. so that's what we're doing. Okay, we're going to be doing that, and it's just seriously a super simple basic dress, but really cute, really fun to wear, and I'm going to be making it in this denim mondial, denim yarn. I'll show it to you probably when we start. The tutorial but it's 100% cotton yeah recycled cotton oh ah, cool I didn't even know that um, and it's 50 grams at 100 meters no 155 meters and it says that I should be using I think it's three and a half wow that's really small oh, my god yeah crochet hook 2.5 to 3 I'm gonna be using a 3.5 I'm going to be using a 3.5. Yeah. Right, so that. So we're going to be using this, and I've got the navy blue for the edging of the dress, which is going to look really cute. Um, yeah, that's it. Not a long intro today, which is good for a change. Um, yeah. Thank you to all my subscribers. And thank you for joining me. Thank you to my patrons. I am eternally grateful for your support and your help. And... Yeah. Uh, also, if you like this video, please give it a like. If you would like to subscribe to join me for some more fun, um, I'm going to start getting my act together very, very soon and start making videos more often because I've kind of been slacking off lately, which is not fun. All right, so yes, we're going to do that. Um, yes, okay, let's get straight into it. All right, now to begin, we're going to move all this aside behind me for a second and I'm going to grab our fresh yarn and have a look at the label now like I, I often say and which is the truth I can never find the ply on the label or in any of the labels that I get in Spain for the yarn that I get in Spain so let's just have a look shall we so here's the label made in Italy 100% cotton recycled and 50 grams, 155 meters squared, but maybe I can see this better here. So this is, yeah, one and a half to three and a half crochet hook, which is good because I'm using the 3.5, so that's really good. And for a square of 10 centimeters by 20 cent, 20, ten, no, 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters is 23M by 35F. So one of those is stitches and the other one is rows. And it's also machine washable, so I mean it's good because it's recycled denim, and I love that. I've never used that before. Awesome. So let's grab the end of our yarn. Oh. Okay, maybe that's, no, that's fine. Okay, grabbing the end of our yarn. It is so hot right now, and I am sweating. Oh, but that's beside the point. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a slip knot. So just like that, making a slip knot. Now what you want to do is you want to chain a length that runs from the middle of one collarbone to the middle of the other. So it's going to sit perfectly just in the middle there. Um, for me, I think that's about 40 chains. I'm going to go away and do it just now. But yeah, that's what you're going to want to do. So it's going to be sitting in the middle. I mean, you'll see pictures of this dress once it's been made, so you'll get an idea of what you need to chain the length to. But yeah, like I said, it's it's going to be from the middle of one collarbone to the middle of the other collarbone. Okay, so for me, 40 chains, I'm going to go away and do that. And chain stitch, which is yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and I'm going to go away and do 40. Alright, so for me it wasn't 40 chains, it was actually about 34. So... Our next step is actually 34, but we're going to 
chain an extra one and we're going to be chaining an extra one for every turning stitch. So that one we're going to skip. Now what we do is we focus the camera better and then we yarn over and we're double crocheting into the second chain from the hook. So there's the first one just there and let's put a double crochet into the second one along. Is that the second one? Hang on a second. Nope, that was the first one. Yarn over into the second chain from the hook. So that one just there. Yes. There we go. Now we're going to start increasing right away at the top. So it's going to be every second stitch at the beginning of a row that's going to be two double crochets into the same stitch. So for this it's two double crochets into the same chain. Whoops. One and two. Then putting a double crochet into every chain all the way to the beginning of the chain. So just do that, go along, put in your double crochet, so you can see what the chains are obviously. This dress is definitely an easy one for beginners. There's not a lot to it, it's just super basic. Probably would take maybe, I don't know, a couple of days to make of good solid crochet, but it's worth it because these dresses are fun and really, really cute. Alright, so I'm going to let you go away and do that. Put all your double crochets into each chain all the way back to the beginning. Remember that second, ch uh, well the second chain from the first one that you put a double crochet into was two double crochets into the same. Alright, see you soon. Alright, and here I am at the end of the first row, so I finished that. Now what I forgot to mention is that this is a top-down dress. A top-down dress that we're going to be increasing only at the beginning of every row. So it's a gradual increase until we get to the point where we're going to be chaining a length that wraps around the back and we're going to be working in the skirt. So this is just the front part. Now to just continue increasing at the gradual pace we're only, like I said, only one, one, one stitch per row so chaining up one let's do it together for our gradual increases we're chaining up one, turning the work a double crochet into the first stitch so first stitch is there and two double crochets into every second, second stitch so there's one and two into the second stitch, then just work a double crochet all the way until the end of the row and that's how we're increasing. You can go for a faster increase um, in, which you would, in which case you would just do a two double crochets in every second and every second last stitch of every row but we're not going to be doing that with this one, we're just going to be gradually increasing till we reach our belly buttons and that's where we're going to stop doing our increasing and where we're going to chain a length that wraps around the back and so we will be making the skirt and that's where we're going to make the skirt so I'm going to go away to let you do this like I said for just this gradual increase it's two double crochets into every second stitch of every row till you reach your belly button alright so I'll meet back up with you when we've reached that point and I'll help you with well I'm sorry my phone just cut out which if you've been watching my tutorials often um, you'll know that that's just normal due to storage issues and you know the whims of the universe and such anyway so yes like I said we will be focusing the camera and then yeah like I said the gradual increase every second stitch and we'll meet back up when we've reached our belly buttons and you're going to see just how easy this dress is to make. It's very, very easy. Alright, see you soon. Okay, now that I've reached a point where if I hold this up against my front, just beneath my collarbones, the, it reaches to my belly button. So what I would usually do at this point is finding the place where I currently am. I would begin to put in single crochets up along the side of the work until I get to the top where I would do the straps and then single crochets along the top the other strap on the other side and then all the way back down to the other side and then I would begin um, I would chain the length that wraps around my back and begin the skirt 
but because I'm using the navy blue as the edging I'm not going to be doing that um, I'm just going to be working straight into the skirt and then later on we'll pick up the edging and we'll do it that way and also this simple dress is going to be slightly different from my original simple dress we're going to be doing something a little different with it um, okay so what we do now is we are going to chain the length that's going to wrap around so when you hold it up against yourself you're going to want to chain a length that wraps around your back quite snug um, and when the reason it needs to be quite snug is because when you start to put in the double crochets into that chain it, um, it sort of sags a bit um, it becomes more loose so yeah uh, for me, the overall stitch count around, including these stitches already, would be, at this point, I think about 120. So, I'm going to go and chain that length that's going to wrap around my back, and we're going to join it at the other side. So I'll meet back up with you in a moment, so just chaining a length like this. I'll meet back up with you in a moment, and we'll join it, and we'll talk about how to do the skirt. Now here I am with that chain. So, like I said, for me, the overall stitch count now is 120. And all we do is we pick up the other side, and we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain one from the beginning of the other row. Or from the beginning of this row, sorry. So just slipping, slip stitching into the top of there. Just like this. There we go. Alright. Now, from here we're going to what I'm going to do I'm going to continue to be turning back and forth so what I mean by that from here we chain up one and then we turn the work and I'm going to be continuing to do that because it maintains the continuity of the back and forth pattern and it also stops the seam from drifting to the side so we're going to be doing that now where we are because we've turned we're working back into that chain so what we're going to be doing is I'm not going into the V on the top of the chain what we're going to be doing is you turn the see there's a V on the top just there what you do is you turn the V to the back and you see underneath the V there's a bump and that's the third part of the chain so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting our and also I need to use a small hook at this point just for this like a little bit here because the first little bump is kind of hard to get into what it always is for me anyway so what you do is you double crocheting into that bump on the back so I'll just do the first couple with you just to show you what I mean <clears throat> you'll be able to see see there's that bump but I'm going to go into the first one like I said it's always a little tricky for me hold on I'm gonna okay yes that wasn't that tricky but there we go just do the first one with this smaller hook so there's that first one and then back to my normal hook so that's what you can do if you've got a smaller hook lying around just use that if you if the stitch is a little tricky to get into so from here we're just going into all the bumps all the way along the back till you get to the front so there we go I hope you can see what I mean see that bump on the back just there going into those and I'll meet back up with you when we get to the to the end of this chain and we'll talk about where to go from there